Books educate people. Books inspire people. Books talk to people. If you keep reading, uh, you've got to keep going. I don't care if you're a president, if you're a preacher, a school teacher. If you stop reading, you stop learning. And you can tell a reader by how they talk, too. If they're reading, they're going to be quoting things. They're going to be making references to things. And so you can walk up to a person, and within a matter of a dinner party, you can know if they're a reader or if there's a TV movie watcher. If your kids are small, read to them. Develop a love for books. Roberts grew up in a family that valued reading together. However, it was only after he was 13 years old that he began reading constantly. It was also at this time in 1979 that he gave his first public address. So I grew up around books, and so uh, studying and reading was something that was very familiar to me. But as like most little boys, you want to go out and play basketball and be with your friends. So um, the reading side was developed by my parents. Uh, they had us read the scriptures, the Bible, uh, four chapters every day, so we could finish the Bible in a year was part of our reading culture. At the age of 17, Roberts published his first book. The book sold over 1.5 million copies, and by the following year, Roberts had become one of the leading public speakers in the Christian community all over the world. So I was a platinum seller before I was 20, and so since then I've written 54 books, I've sold 7 million in English, they're in 54 languages, and uh, so, and I write about three books at a time, so that's how I write, so I plan to write probably about 100 books for I'm Dead is what I'm planning on. His latest book, God's Generals, has so far sold over a million DVDs in the series, and the books in circulation have reached close to a million. Robert says he writes for everyday people, regular working men and women, who love God and want something good to read. I, I write three kinds of books. Number one, I write teaching books or inspirational books from a Christian perspective. Number two, I will write uh, books related biographies uh, of different leaders or different people groups that achieve things throughout time. And then the third kind of book that I produce or write, really I can pile the third kind. I will go back and find a book that's out of print that I think should be in print and bring it back into print. Or I will go gather um, lectures or sermons or topics and I'll combine those things together to create a book like that. Twice, Roberts was voted as outstanding young man in America. In 1990, at the age of 25, Roberts Leodon established his worldwide headquarters in Orange County, assisting the poor and needy not only in Southern California, but throughout the world. I may never get to see the people that are watching me in person, but my book can go to their house. My book can go to their living room and they can open it up. They may sit on their bookshelf or on a coffee table for five years, and one day they open it and it talks to them. So part of it would be what happens when somebody reads one of my books that I could give a thought or I could tell a story that makes them believe that they can come out of their problem or they can overcome what they're in or not believe the negative that's been thrown at them for most of their life uh, was part of that. And then the other aspect that I say would inspire me to write it is uh, I like books myself, so I like to know that I've got books out there too. So there's a part of it is I want to have something I want to keep saying after I'm dead can be done through a book. Roberts has sold over 7 million books worldwide which have been translated in more than 50 languages. His popularity has prompted international travels to be hosted by presidents, kings, leading political and religious leaders. Dignitaries the world over respect and admire the work and character of Robert Sliadon. In the world of books, his stands counted with his 54 books and more yet to be published. You know, I read about three or four books a month. Uh, I read a Christian teaching book. I read a biography and I read a current affairs type of book of something that's happening in the world. So I try to keep myself always reading. Because a book, to me, what took me 10 years to research and put into a book, you can read in a week. What a, what a person learned in 50 years of their life, you can read for 20 pounds or $20 or whatever the amount is here in Kenya, the shillings, and uh, get it in a week or two or in a month, or how fast you read. So what took them 50 years to go up and down, you can get like that. And that's another part of why I like to read a book. When I walk into a bookstore, uh, I never look at how much a book costs. I look at what the story is, the subject, the author I'm thinking. 
It took Einstein how long to figure this out? And I can read it in his book. It took uh, uh, Donald Trump how long to figure out how to become this, you know, great uh, real estate tycoon in America. And I can read his book and he can help me jump over mistakes and become more successful. You can also be in the front line by building your reading culture only on Page Turner.